having to build a back porch, you know, because it didn't come with one on the back of it. So I just got this laid out right here. And I'm going to cut that one. I, I gave a little bit of a play for this, uh, this back piece here to be a bit over. It'll make sense when I put it together, but I've got five pieces of two before. That's my planks, okay? And I'm going to have a piece under it on each side that will go under it long ways inside the frame rail. And that's it. I haven't done it in a minute. Alright, so this is what I got right here. And I will put some pieces under it. But I put the lip up there for a reason. To stop my foot. I wanted it like that. Okay? You could mount it flush. If you wanted to, uh, you could actually, you know, you could cut notches out for your frame rail. Um, you know, I, I, I'm sorry, out of this, you cut you cut notches out of this for your frame rail, but I'm gonna put full two by fours under it. Okay? Not this two by three, but two by fours. And then uh, that way I'm actually gonna put legs under it and it's gonna be a table for when I'm grilling out, you know, because I'm gonna keep it just behind the passenger seat, standing up strapped to it, nothing to it, it don't hardly weigh nothing. And uh, then I'll have a back porch. You know, so these companies ain't specking them. Well, mine's a Woody. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you like this video. If you do, click like, share, subscribe, whatever. Uh, like button somewhere down here, I guess. I don't know. Uh, blow it up. Y'all stay safe. Now, I'm not advocating to ride with this. Like I said, I take it off. But to get the upper part of my truck, you know, to wash from the back, the very top. So, anyhow, that's it. Y'all stay safe out there. Make you a good picnic table. <laughs> okay, so this is what I got here. And uh, I don't have the pieces under it yet. I just now put this together. I don't have the pieces under the frame rail yet here, but there's gonna be a cross piece of a two before under here, from here all the way across, and another one on the other side, on the inside of the frame rail, to keep it from moving right to left. Like I said, this is just for me to stand on if I'm washing the top of the truck there, because, uh, well, you know, you can reach this part, but it's difficult trying to reach the, the high parts like that. But uh, that's what it's for. Just to temporarily set up there, and then I'm gonna actually use it for a table when I'm, also when I'm drilling at the truck stop or wherever I'm at. Okay. And uh, so I guess I'll make this the end, because that looks good enough. I'm gonna stain it, I will stain it and uh, put some grip tape on it, you know, in places. But I'll use it as a picnic table too, the whole stuff, and it won't fall off. If the wind blows, it won't come past this little lip. That's what I like about it. So, I don't know. If you like the video, share it, click like, whatever. Um, it's just a little something, and this was all reclaimed wood. Every one of those were used as bracing to hold a load up, and they were gonna throw it away. And they were broken two before, and I had them cut down. And then these pieces right here were also the same thing. Had them cut down. And so, all in all, it only cost me for these screws that I already had at the house, some long screws that take this kind of a star bit. If you can see that star bit, you get those at Home Depot. So, I mean, you know, didn't cost me a dime. So, I didn't want to pay 300 right away for aluminum rack for the back here, aluminum uh, back porch or what people call catwalk or whatever. So, built me a Woody. There you go. All right like buttons down there somewhere and uh y'all stay safe peace